to get down to the nitty gritty in this toilet so it can stop looking like it's doo doo stuck at the bottom, we're going to use Zep Acetic Toilet Bowl Cleanser, an old towel to never be used ever again, a bucket, toilet plunger, some latex cleaning gloves, baking soda, and nine scratch pads. Here's our starting point. And as I said, it looks like some doo-doo stuck at the bottom of the toilet, but it's not. It's literally just calcium buildup. We're gonna start off by removing some of the water with the plunger. And for demonstration purposes, we went to someone else's house due to I had a similar issue in my toilet and was amazed with the results my husband got when he worked on our toilet. But we didn't record the process. And cut. Now let's be clear. We are not plumbers, so try this at your own risk. We're just showing you what worked for us in another household. And action. Once the water level has gone down some, he will put his latex gloves on and switch to using the towel. Now make sure this is a towel you are okay with parting ways with. Don't be trying to dry your body off with this toilet towel. Just let it go. As the towel sucks up the water, he pulls it out so he can wring the water out into the bucket and repeats this process until all the water is out of the toilet. All right, we got all the water out. Now it's time to add the Zep Acidic Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Now we're not going to fill the toilet up. We just need just enough to fill the hole. Once the hole is filled with the Zep, we left it in the toilet for two to three hours. But depending on how severe the buildup is, it can be left in a little bit longer. And in this particular toilet, it's had this issue for years, so we probably should have left it in longer than two to three hours. And this is what it looks like after two to three hours. Look at all that calcium just coming up. It looks nasty, but we happy to see that it's coming up out the toilet. Now it's time to get on up in there with some elbow grease and scrub a dub dub. Now you can't be scared to get on up in there because there's still calcium at the bottom of the toilet that needs to be removed. Now the baking soda isn't necessary, but we used it to deactivate the acid that's in there to protect the pipes when we flush the toilet. There's no exact measurements. We just sprinkle some in there and let it foam up. You don't wanna to pour too much and leave the foam overflowing out of the toilet. You can stick your hand back in there just to mix up the baking soda some more if you like, and you'll notice that it'll foam up even more. And then you wanna flush the toilet and make sure the lid is closed. And then flush it one more time. Now go back in with a little bit more elbow grease. And flush the toilet again until all the foam is gone. When we did our toilet at home, this was the last step and all the calcium buildup was gone. But as I said, this buildup has been there for years, so we'll need to come back another day to get the small amount of buildup that's still in the toilet out. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell. We're back and it's the second day. The water has already been removed. The Zep has been in the toilet for two to three hours and the calcium has started to float to the top just like before. We followed the same exact process and now it's time to scrub and sprinkle in a little bit of baking soda. back in for one last scrub. And flush the toilet again until all the foam is gone. And now it's time for the final results.
20 as a whistle. Wow. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Slim Thick Curls. Toodles. Mwah.